Heyo everybody, welcome back to Undertale. Let's continue our journey. We just arrived in Snowden Town. Let's check. Okay, there's nothing in the box right now. I don't know what... Actually, never. I never checked to see what that tough glove thing is. Let me see. Tough glove. Weapon at five. Weapon attack five. A worn pink leather glove for five, for five fingered folk. Yeah, I probably don't need that right now since I'm doing the pacifist route. I also want to check to see... I want to use check that toy knife. Weapon attack three made of plastic or rarity nowadays. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put this in too. I'm probably gonna put this the snowman piece in here too because uh, I can probably just pick it up later when I uh, when I need it. All right, I'm gonna check out this shop first. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I'm gonna talk first. Get a chat. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What can I do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up a camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you are a ghost or can bur burrow under the door, forget about it. And let's talk about your life. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, isn't it? Alright, uh, let's see what he, what they have to sell. Manly banana. It's armor. I guess armor would be useful since we are still are getting attacked. Bicycle? Bicycle? What? Heels... For 11 HP times 2, eat it twice. Cinnamon bun heals 22 HP. It's my own recipe. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get one of these. And I will get this one as well. And another one. Bye for now. Come again sometime. Alright. Let's keep exploring. Let's check the inn. Oh, there's a little bunny guy here. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Well, feel, feel free to come back anytime. Yeah, I don't need to s stay here right now. What's this? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Oh, this lady over here? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Huh. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Huh. So they've unintentionally started their own Christmas. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Well, it's probably more efficient than our current system of government here in the U.S., isn't it? <laughs> ah, we're at Grillby's. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Who's this guy? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Oh, the dogs are here. You better watch where you're sitting here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and... <laughs> Hot guys. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? 
It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they've started moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip it onto their butts. The jukebox is broken. All right. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be just like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> that lesser dog is playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach Alicia to me and take me for a walk, please. Okay, what about this greater dog? What does he have to say? I don't know what that noise is. Grillby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch this stuff. I can see why. Ah, here's the library. Welcome to the library! Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. It was? Yeah. Library. <laughs> huh. It looks like Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Let's relate somehow to what we said earlier with Sons and Papyrus. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report on that we just fill it with comics and games. Sounds fun. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I am the number one word search creator in the entire underground. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of s sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Hmm. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved the harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. Hold on a second, sorry about that. I had a timer set up. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these things to exist. Don't know if I should be insulted by that. Alright, let's look around a little bit more. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Yeah, sure. It's empty. I guess this is Sansa Papyrus's house. Ah, and there's the exit on the other side of the, the thing to go around town. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it does take you all the way to the other side of town. Let's go back, though. I want to check inside of Sansa Papyrus's house. It's locked. Oh, oh, well. Let's go back past the library and up here. I want to see around. Huh. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Are you a talking rock? It looks like it. Oh. Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me the human again, are you? They're talking snow puffs. Huh, what's this? Huh. The dumping ice in the river, I wonder why. I wanna see if I can go into this house. Knock, knock. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Yeah, sure. Ah, my patience rewards me. 
<sighs> this looks like a river. Oh! The phone's ringing. Hello, can I speak to G Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the time. That's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Click. Okay. That reminds me. I haven't checked that cell in a while. I wonder if I can still call Toriel. Let's try it. Dialing. Nobody picked up. Hmm. I still feel bad about Toriel. Hope we'll see Toriel again at some point. Let's care for decorated trees. So, some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. So, it is Christmas here, apparently. This is a nice town, but I guess, uh... I haven't, don't have anywhere else to go, so I'll just press on. Past Sansa Papyrus' house, which I just noticed has a pirate flag on it. Seems appropriate. What's happening? What's happening? Papyrus? Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be to f like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you, then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious, that's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. What? Oh, <laughs> I have to fight Papyrus, no. Check him. Attack 20, defense 20, he likes to say nyeh <laughs> <laughs> That didn't do anything. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I don't want to insult him, but... <clears throat> Alright, let's flirt with him. What?! F flirting?! So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I... I'm a skeleton with very high standards! Okay. <laughs> I can make spaghetti or I have zero redeeming qualities. Let's say we make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Uh, let's date later after I capture you! That did nothing again. A pirate's thinking about what to wear for his date. A pirate's just thinking about what to cook for his date. Uh, I can't spare him yet though. What am I supposed to do? What if I insult him? <laughs> Alright. Insult. How selfless! You want me to feel better after f about fighting you! I don't deserve such hospitality from you! Nothing is happening! What is. Papyrus to have some bone cologne behind his ear. Insult. There's no need to lie to yourself! Your barbs hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus! I have no idea if this is some. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Learn again. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishi cream behind his ear. Insult. Don't! Don't waste your words on me! Is it just me or the bones getting smaller? MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Insult again. You insult, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. I can't spare him yet. What's what am I supposed to do? Uh let's try. No, I, I I gave that to myself. Oh, I should have bought brought one of those. I have no idea. MTT brand beauty yogurt. What? 
What if I let him attack me? Okay, let's... Huh. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. What? I'm gonna do the same thing again. Nothing. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spreads, spends a minute fixing his mistake. What? Maybe I should just let him just keep attacking me. I'm not quite sure. Hold on. I'm gonna try using Mercy. So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! In which case, we're supposed to do nothing, right? Right. What? What What? Ha what happened? I... You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> what? I'm blue now? What does that mean for me? Uh... Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's stay later after I capture you! Okay, apparently I have to jump now. Okay. It smells like bones. Spare. What? I'm not thinking about that day thing! Okay, this is actually a bit... Wow, okay. This is proving to be a new twist. Bandage. I don't remember getting a bandage. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! It's turned into Flappy Bird, what the heck? <laughs> Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh, right. It's supposed to be blue. Right. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told it from in his frowning. Spare again. Papyrus, head of the royal guard! Oh, what the heck? Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. It's literally become Flappy Bird. What the heck? Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Let's try and spare again. Undead will be really proud of me! I can't dodge all of these. Not very well. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! Spare me again. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much! I'll have lots of admirers, but... Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Dodging, dodging, dodging as best as I can. Which is not very well. Oh, that one moves. Okay. Someone like you is really rare. I don't have any more items. I can... Let me see. I'm just gonna... And dating might be kind of hard. It's a blue attack, right. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you! I will now send you to the capture zone! Or as Sans calls it, our garage! You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> this is literally looks like a doghouse. A note? It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry I have to lock you in our guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home! Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nearly yours, Papyrus. Dog bowl. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a squeaky chew toy. It's too small to sleep on. And if we know uh, him already, we can just pass right through this. Huh. I wonder if we can go in here now. No, it's still locked. You know what, I think I might have actually run out of time for this episode already. Uh, I'm going to head back to that save point, and then we'll see what happens from here. Save it. And, with that, we can call this an episode for today. Thanks for continuing to watch my Let's Play of Undertale. Until next time, everybody, take care.